copyright notices if you wish to read pause the video the original videos are linked in the description down below enjoy all right then so in this video what we're going to see is the bailiffs ring for the police to assist them to take a van and then fail massively but we'll just get straight into it surely some of you have already seen this video but if not let's get straight into it and let's do my analyzation of this video my opinions and if there's any law to be added into that i shall add it into that there he is there's matey boy come to uh come to take the van i uh, just told him to get off um the private property and especially videoing on private property as well and so um yeah i've uh i said to him just to get off that so let's see what happens so i think this, so this is from Marston's, um, and I don't know what this is from. I'm pretty sure that they are after a company called Trespass Telecom Limited, which um, which is no longer trading. Um, this is yeah, that's who the vehicle is registered to, but it's not who owns the vehicle. I own the vehicle personally. Okay, then. So remember that. The, what a vehicle is registered to and who owns the vehicle are two different things. So a registered keeper is somebody which is on the V5, which is responsible for uh, road tax, MOTs, and fines if they're coming, speeding tickets, that sort of law gets sent to the registered keeper of a vehicle. That's what your V5 is. Remember, your V5 is not proof of ownership. It clearly states that on your V5 not a proof of ownership. So when you go and buy a second hand car, always make sure you get a receipt to say you own that vehicle. Because that's important. A V5 is not proof of ownership. Hello, we've been called. Apparently the van's got a warrant on it and he's taking. Apparently. Well, yeah, he's shown us the warrant on it. Right, is it a true warrant? How do you know it's a, a proper warrant? Huh? And what's, so under it? what name? Huh? Under what name? Well, it's on the van. On the van. Yeah, but the van's my property. Okay. And what's the... Uh, what's, so, I'll take it these are bailiffs. Yep. And the debt is with, um, with I think, with the uh, with a company which okay. doesn't own this vehicle anymore. The, um, Have you got proof that the company doesn't own this vehicle anymore? I've got a receipt for the purchase of this vehicle, yeah. Okay. Which that? I can show you. Okay, that's fine. If yeah. you, is it in the car or is it somewhere No, else? I can show you a soft copy. It's on Dropbox. Okay then, so I didn't want to interrupt it here, but I'm going to have to. The, the police officer comes over and says immediately the van has got a warrant on it, which is an error. A van doesn't have a warrant on it. The warrant is out for a debitor, somebody who owns money. The van doesn't owe anybody money. It's an asset of the debitor. So the van hasn't got a warrant on it at all. So that's wrong. Secondly, I think this is where the V5 and the receipt thing is going to come into play now. But let's just carry on. It's on Dropbox, okay? Yeah. So, uh, the, so the, the vehicle's still um, registered on the V5, but that's only a registered keeper. That's not the owner. Okay. So the registered keeper is still the company, right. which is no longer trading anymore. Okay. And when, um, <clears> if you've taken ownership of it, have you sent your V5 off? Not yet, no. Okay, when <clears> you've via, ownership But, but the vehicle hasn't been being, um, being used for, the, for that business, obviously, anymore. I get that. When but but you... that will okay. that will get sent through, yeah. My question is, when did you purchase the vehicle off the company? Uh, three or four weeks ago, it come over. And have you sent your V5 off at all? No, not, not yet, no, no. Any particular reason why you've not done it? Busy, sorting shit out, yeah. Okay, no worries. That's it, but I can show you a, a copy of that on Dropbox yeah, if, if you want. Yeah, you can want. get the Dropbox up, that's yep. fine. Okay then, so this person clearly knows the difference between a receipt and a V5. A V5 is not proof of ownership. I already mentioned a receipt is proof of ownership. A V5 is just a registered keeper. A registered keeper doesn't have to be the owner of that vehicle. We've already established that. If you don't know it, please look into it. The police should know that. Now it all comes down to this receipt in a Dropbox. But this incident's... As you see, the police officer here is more than happy to be the middle man in this conversation. Right, so she's saying that it's not a proper receipt. So I've just shown her the receipt, um, which I'll bring up. Um, but she's saying it's not a proper receipt. So what, what is a proper receipt? 
via your phone here? Um, having a conversation face -face? I'm recording what you're saying because I don't trust what you say because you're strangers to me and you're just unknown people. Because you normally will be policy enforcers and you'll aid these companies okay. and they're doing things that... Um, they're here to prevent any sort of incidents. Any incident? What sort of incident? Public what public do you think is going to happen? Order. I'm not in public, I'm in private. You're not. You're yes, not, because there's a member of public around that can still hear everything. Well, they can go then, can't they? But I'm on my, pro I'm on my private property. <laughs> All right then, so the only thing I can think of under the Public Order Act, what she's quoting, is obviously the Public Order Act of 19... 36 which is a section 5 which is basically to prevent of the to prevent a breach of the peace which any person who in a public place or at a public meeting uses threatening abusive or insulting words or behavior with intent to provoke breach of the peace or whereby a breach of the peace is likely to be caused shall be guilty of an offence. But I don't know if this is watching the run about or they're actually just going on about a normal Section 5 public order offence under the new one, which is here, which is uh, obviously Public Order Act of 1986, and that's uh, Section 5, which is harassment, alarm or distress. Well, it cannot be under this one, so it must be... This is what they're planning on using prevent, to prevent a breach of the peace, which is normally what they come at. But obviously, I don't think they actually know that. They just know it's a public order. So, so this is things like this, this is why I need to record you, because you're not aware of these things. And I... Well, I, I think one thing, and you're going to think another thing, and you're going to be here to aid them, aren't you? You're not going to be here to help the public out, which is me. Even though I'm on private land. Have you got, have you got the D5 number? Um, yeah. Can I see it, please? No. Why not? Why not? Why do you want to see it? Proof of ownership. Okay then, so for those people who have never seen a V5 logbook, this is not my V5 logbook, it's one I've just pulled up off the internet. But as you can see, it clearly states here, this document is not proof of ownership. It shows who is responsible for registering and taxing the vehicle. So the fact that he wants to see this document as proof of ownership shows that the police clearly don't understand what a V5 is. It says it massive on the front. This document is not proof of ownership. So this here is irrelevant to what they're getting at. The receipt he has shown you is relevant. The receipt is proof of ownership. And that's why it's important to get a receipt, people. Doesn't matter how it is, as long as it says the vehicle and how much you paid for it, it is a receipt. Not everybody goes to a dealership and buys a vehicle. Not everybody is blessed to go to a dealership and buy a new vehicle or even a used vehicle from a dealership. So they're not going to get the dealership receipt. Most people buy privately from private sellers so they end up with a handwritten receipt it's as simple as that as you can see the v5 is not proof of ownership it's not proof of ownership it's pretty it's a, it's a, okay, a registered like, keeper right, it doesn't it show who owns it you're intending to send off the v5 to be the new t uh, new, keeper. new new registered keeper okay, exactly yeah. not the owner there's two yeah. very different things you've got but, to be careful of how the okay. words are but you've already said you've not sent it off correct so you've obviously got it somewhere correct. can we not see it no, why, why do you why need not? to see it? It's not. It doesn't prove anything. It, it proves a registered shows keeper. So you've got the intention to send it's it off, right? You're, you're but it's, but the so but the, the sales receipt overrules all of that anyway because that proves who the owner is, not the registered keeper. You're mixing those two things up. The registered keeper is just who is liable for taxing an MOT in the vehicle. Any... So this person's got it spot on. He has. You've just seen the V5 is not proof of ownership. It it says it massive on your V5. Secondly. The receipt is proof of ownership. He's shown them the receipt and it's not good enough for them. Who are they to say what receipt is good enough or not? They are nobody. Secondly, did you see how it stopped them in their tracks? Because they knew they wasn't going to get him out of the van. The minute they get out of the van, they're going to tow it. They're not allowed to tow the van while somebody's in it. It's as simple as that. Yeah. So you're now taking ownership of that. So it really, you should be the registered keeper, should you not? Yeah, I will be okay. once I send it off. Yeah, I don't. Once I don't know whether there's a time. What's the time limit? You've got it. 
because you intend to send it off? Um, no, I don't. I don't feel like I need to. I'll probably show you a copy. There's probably a copy on here that I can show you. Yes, a copy. Yeah. Let's have a look. I'm gonna stop recording again. That is something that needs to be done. All the paperwork needs to be sent to them, but the van needs to go with them today. No, it's not. It's because the van's the van that is still as a registered keeper to the company that they're after, yeah. um, but. Um, the actual ownership is by me, by Mark okay. William Payne. What, what I just said was they need all the paperwork to confirm that you are now the new keeper. I just showed you the, I just, okay. I just showed you the paper. I just showed you okay. the sales receipt. So this person's got it spot on. He has, you've just seen the V5 is not proof of ownership. It, it says it massive on your V5. Secondly, the receipt is proof of ownership. He's shown them the receipt and it's not good enough for them. Who are they to say what receipt is good enough or not? They are nobody. Secondly, did you see how it stopped them in their tracks? Because they knew they wasn't going to get them out of the van. The minute they get out of the van, they're going to tow it. They're not allowed to tow the van while somebody's in it. It's as simple as that. You've showed me, yes. Yeah. But they need all the evidential copies to say that this van is not up. It's not, it's not down to me company. to prove my innocence. Well, it is. It needs for you to prove no, that not. the vehicle's not the company's anymore. I've just, I've just shown you okay. proof. As I just <laughs> said, it's Jesus. not for me, though, is it? We're here as a third party. Yeah, okay. okay. Well, I've just given you the you evidence, so why don't you them. now tell you them? You need to engage with them, though. I'm not going to be I'm your I'm not. Gopher. They've brought you Wait, as a gopher. I'm go not going to be your gopher in between. They've brought you down to be a gopher in between. Jesus Christ. If you don't want to be a gopher, don't turn up. Be careful. Well, we have to. Why? Because what, to enforce policies with these Muppets? Mano, mano. Right, look, doing the uh, doing the reverse drive of shame. Okay, then. So, as you've seen, right at the end, she got on a high horse saying she's not a gopher to go in between. Well, she was more than happy to do that when she thought she might have been walking away with the vehicle. When it didn't turn out to be that way, she wasn't too happy because she knew she'd come across somebody which is going to stand his ground and defend his property, not allow some junked up wannabe coppers to take it. And then the police come and realise that it wasn't going to work neither. So they got a bit uffy about it. End of the day, you come, you made yourself that gopher by not just standing by like you're supposed to and waiting for a breach of the peace to happen. You got involved in a situation you should not have been involved in. It's as simple as that. You was called for what? To prevent a breach of the peace. That's what you are there for, to prevent a breach of the peace. No peace was breached. You should have just stood there and watched and waited. But that's just my opinions. Let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this interaction. As always, like the video, it does off in YouTube's algorithm. And I'll catch you on the next one.